Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to talk about a brand new tower as well as a new currency that is coming to War Dragons in the next fortification event. I have described it as a serendipitous amalgamation of the Earth Flak and Storm Tower combining on a slip and slide. And hopefully you will see it as an accurate representation. So let's get into the details. So the cosmic array, the stars have aligned in this eclipse season and that has brought us a brand new tower. We're gonna to talk about some of the basic or main details of this tower and branch uh, based on this blog. So there is a cosmic array branch. With the new cosmic array branch, it will cost 15,000 sigils and will contain two eclipse keys. So that's very nice that it has keys, but this 15,000 uh, sigil branch makes me think that it's not the same as the tower branch they spoke of a week ago because they said it will be a full cost branch for six full keys. So that is interesting. We might actually have this and a tower branch coming. I'm not sure if the tower branch is supposed to come out this next event as well or not. So hopefully we'll see and get more information on that soon. But this one is 15,000 sigils for two keys, which is unfortunate because that is increased cost for the keys, but you don't necessarily have to finish the whole branch and we'll talk about why. This branch contains enough of the tower's unique currency, which is cosmic charge, to get one of them to level 121. Now, um, in addition to that, it will also have lots of Electrum and Timers. Uh, but wait, there's more. You can also build a second Crystal Howitzer Tower now with the release of the event as long as you're level 50 or higher. This is what the tower looks like at different stages. Now, some of the questions that we all are going to have, what is the regular attack? Well, it has a long-range projectile attack, and it actually pulls dragons in and disables their natural rage generation. So it will make the dragons fly over the base faster, and during that time, they won't be gaining rage naturally. So I can only assume that you'll be able to use spells that grant you rage, but during the time that the shots are affecting you, uh, you will not have the regular rage over time, which means that rage runes and glyphs likely will not help you during that period. And I can only assume that the duration of that effect is only as long as the attack speed, so that if the tower keeps attacking you, you'll have no rage generation, but if it only gets one shot off, it will only last for 0.65 seconds. So what is the super shot? Well, the super shot is like a storm tower and an earth flak. Why? Because the earth flak portion is that it grants an HP boost to the towers as well as a shield, but the storm tower portion is that the range of the super shot activating is like the storm tower, which is very nice, and it also has a longer attack range. This way, you can get your shield off earlier than an earth flak would, but you have the added benefits over top of a storm tower that makes it basically the two combined. Now, you'll have to decide if it's worth it for you to build this instead of or in addition to, especially with the new currency. So they suggest that it has added utility over both, so you might want to use it instead. So how many can you build? It has the same restrictions as other flax and pylon and the pylon, so you can build eight per island or eight per base um, and one on each small island of five towers. And you can build your first one at level 45. Uh, when does it come available? It comes available with this next event. And how do you upgrade the tower? This is the kicker here. It has a new resource, but not for the entire um, leveling of this tower. It has a mix of electron bars and cosmic charge. So level one requires one cosmic charge. Then you'll do a lumber and an electron bar upgrade, and it will rotate until level 11. So every 10th level will use cosmic charge, and that will be cosmic charge two, 10 levels later, you'll get to ch Cosmic Charge 3, and I'm not sure, I don't think that the Cosmic Charge 4 and 5, I'm not sure if it's saying that that is how many Cosmic Charge resources you're using, or if it's just saying that's the, the 8th, 9th, 10th section that uses the Cosmic Charge, but we do know that if you get the full branch, you can get one all the way to max. So if you're not at end game or at max level, you don't need to get the full branch in order to build this tower, you could just complete half of it to the first key, and that will likely give you 
all you need for you to build yourself one of these towers. Now, final notes, if you want to get it, but you do not want to get it this season, the branch will be available again during the next season with, again, enough cosmic charge for at least one max cosmic array tower. So if you are at endgame and you do want two of these, you have to get it this season and next season so that you can get two max cosmic array towers. And they also said that going forward, there will at least be one branch every season that will contain the cosmic cosmic charge currency on some of the choice nodes. So you'll have to choose between getting the cosmic charge instead of something else, probably timers or electron bars, but it will continue to be available in the branches as a way to continue leveling up more of these towers, or if you didn't finish it the first time, you can get more to continue leveling your cosmic charge tower, which is kind of nice to have that option every season and to know that it will continue to be available and not be its own isolated branch every single time, because then you're forced into this branch rather than if you do a different branch in a future season you can choose this resource in your progression through that branch now i know having another new currency in the game is not what we were hoping for but for what it's worth i do feel like so far it appears that this resource is being implemented in a better way than some have been in the past it will be available every season from what they have said it will be available in a large amount to those who really want it if they commit their sigils to the branch and it will continue to be available in future season on choice nodes on other branches so you're not forced into getting this currency without a use for it but you can continue to earn this currency along your progression down another path that you don't have to commit specifically to this tower but you can get say just the generic timer branch whatever they're continuing to do with those branches or if it's in dragons or the base boost branch you can continue to get your regular progression ones and choose to get the cosmic array or cosmic charges from that branch as you go and i am actually very interested in seeing how this tower works with my base in the main game and test it out I do believe I'm going to build this first thing that I can when fortification goes live. So that way you can all see it in action without having to commit to it right away. And I figure I have the means to do so. I won't be too upset if it doesn't end up being the amazing tower that I'm hoping it is. But I do need another shield tower. I only barely started leveling an earth flag, so I don't mind switching over to the cosmic array or oh, array. Is that right? I thought it was Cosmic Array. Anyways, I will be doing this on my base next week and I will put videos out as soon as I can so you can see the tower in action early on before having to commit to it yourself. So let me know your thoughts so far. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.